friends, today we're going to look at fear. Uh, it wasn't the first, one of the first things that I wanted to look at, but of course a lot of you have asked that we, we look at fear. Um, and we have to look at fear because let's face it, we are living in uh, unique times and there is a lot of fear going around. So what is fear? Fear is a thought about an event that has not yet transpired. Okay? That's not to say that it's not valid. That's not to say that it doesn't have a protective uh, mechanism for us, that it doesn't help us in difficult situations. Of course it does. But it is just a thought about something that has not yet transpired. Now, whilst a fear can help us and protect us, it can also spiral us dangerously into a state of being that we do not want to be in right now. So we need to be able to take the time to acknowledge what we're feeling, to label it, to understand it, and then to set it aside. Because if we let our fears run rampant, we will be in a constant state of pain, anxiety, stress, and panic. And all of those states lower our immune system, other than making us feel terrible and taking us away from our, our foundation of happiness. So we want to be able to manage these fears. We want to be able to put them uh, into a context that makes sense. Okay? So every time a fear pops up, every time you, you feel fearful about something, uh, there's an exercise that you can do, and I talk about it in my book. Firstly, write down what the fear is. Secondly, break it down into its components. What exactly are we afraid of within this particular fear? What are all the elements of the fear that we're feeling? Take those, once you've listed them, and flip them. Write down next to them the exact opposite. So if it's, for example, I'm afraid of falling, you will write, I will not fall. I am afraid of being laughed at, you will write, no one will laugh at me. When we write things down, it really helps to ground them, not only um, in our own consciousness, but also to see things written down on paper, it helps our mind to step out of the spiraling fear. So once you've done your list of the opposites, then close your eyes and visualize the exact opposite of what you fear transpiring. So for example, if it's a fear that you will get sick with COVID-19, close your eyes and imagine that you never get sick with COVID-19. That you come out of this pandemic completely healthy. Visualize it. Walk yourself through all the steps, all the different scenarios, until you can see yourself beaming, happy, healthy at the other end. And that's the vision that you will use to take you forward every time that particular fear comes up. See, fear is a funny thing. No one can do the work for us. We have to do it for ourselves. But it's an exercise that really works. Um, and I'd love to hear your feedback on it if you give it a shot. Thank you.